Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today I'm bringing you something that I wasn't able to pre-make before my vacation for Zombie Week. I wanted to make this for you guys. I thought of it while I was fishing today, and I just really wanted to, I just wanted to make sure that it was in Zombie Week because I felt it, it had a spot that belonged on here. So we're bringing it here for a part two of Zombie Week. But right now, I want to go into my top three zombies, just the favorite zombies that I, you know, they're my personal favorites that I feel do a really good job of being zombies. They take out zombies, they do their job. Not zombies, humans. They just take out humans easily. They just go to town. Now, these may not be the mo necessarily most powerful zombies, but they're just my personal favorites. So, we're going to be on San Francisco normal to help show them off. I don't want to go on some super hard level. I just want to go on San Francisco to show them off, what they do, what I think they do best. And yes, just my overall, you know, critique. So, in spot number three, we have the Titan. Now, I have the rest of this filled out just because I needed it filled out so I could attack. But, number three spot is the Titan. So, let's attack and check it out here we go it's loading up now the titan is really just my favorite because it is an armored giant zombie that does not care what is in front of him and he will take it out so we are looking at the titan oops gotta get it on a drone so i can drop down all my titans zoom in a little bit so i can hopefully let's see do i need to drop another one but as you can see the sniper is causing some damage here but with that, the Titan is just handling that no problem. Now, one of the special things about the Titan is that it can pretty much take damage from nobody. It doesn't really care what's in front of him. Now, most troops can't even cause damage to him. So, you really need a sniper to down him. Like, look at these guys. Nothing. Do you see them doing any damage? No, not really. Look at that. He's just going to easily take them out, not taking any damage. These can cause a lot of problems when you're survivors. Now, right now where I am in the survivors' uh, missions to get my destructor, I'm starting to run into plenty of titans, so I'm having to make sure I have my sharpshooters and spec ops to take them out. Now, I mean, since they're armored, they're just tough. And the fact that they're there, I just, I just think they belong in the top three just because they're so strong, powerful, and armored. And they just muscle their way through pretty much everything. So that's why they're in my top group right now. So let's flare over right here to these gunfighters and as you can see causing no damage nothing nothing at all no damage caused they're just easily 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 working their way through and just to finish off the hospital i'm going to throw down that little explosion sewer thing to try to help out take the hospital a little bit faster easy peasy goes down no problem so that's spot number three the titan now i just have fun with them they're strong, they're powerful, that's pretty much it. They're just giant tanks that will waltz through anything without even taking damage. So that's number three. That's my third favorite. So, who could have numbers two? Who could be in second place right here? Let's go to San Francisco, normal. Let's update the squad. Let's reset everything. Now, let's pick. Who could it be? It's going to be the Biohazard, guys. The Biohazard is just one of my favorites by far because... From long distance, he's just causing damage to these guys. And especially once he gets to a high level, he is just absolutely dominating people. They can't even get past him without having problems. I mean, it's just ridiculous. He's definitely one of my favorites for some of these reasons. I'll show you guys in a minute once I get everything set. I'm just going to add a pit boss just because I need that to accept. Let's go on normal and let's attack. So as you can see, just one moment. Let me get to San Francisco. I can start showing you guys. Let me drop a few drones so I can start dropping my biohazards. So as you can see, biohazards, they are causing damage to these guys without even having to touch them. They did not even touch them. Nothing. They have this weird biological mist that is radioactive that just causes damage to people and they just can't do anything about it. So really, that's just... I just like that because I don't really have to, it doesn't take much effort, much effort. They just take them out real quick, no problem. Don't even have to worry about that. So I just throw a few of these guys in the horde and just let them kind of do their thing. Look at that. He took out a sniper and just didn't even touch him. So that's pretty much one of the main reasons I like these guys so much because they can cause a lot of damage to these survivors before you even touch them because the drones will end up getting to them and trying to overwhelm them. But these biohazards just cause a little bit damage to them. So it just makes it easier. So let's throw down a Stimsy on these guys. And, I mean, as you can see, he's just about to take them out without... he. They did end up getting him. But I have these other biohazards right behind, easily, peasily taking them out. And it's just no problem for them. 
So, I mean, I just enjoy using them a lot. Lots of fun. Biohazards are so cool. And they're just enjoyable. So, as you can see, they can't cause damage to the hospital. So, I'm actually going to throw down this little surprise right here to help try to see. Can we... Let's flare over here just so we can get everybody back. And hopefully we can get those drones on the hospital. Maybe. Yeah, we're starting to cause some damage. So, as you can see, they're not able to cause damage to the hospital or anything like that. But I believe that just having them with the horde, it's nice to have one or two with you. Just because they're going to be able to help cause damage to these troops before you get to them. I mean, that's just why I like them a lot. They're just helpful. So, here we go. As you can see, causing damage to them. Doesn't even touch them. They're out. Cold. They're not coming back. So, that's just really why I like them a lot. So, that's one of the reasons I like them. That's number two, guys. So... Number three, San Francisco. Let's see. What could it be? I think you guys may know. I'm going to give you guys five seconds to guess which number one it could be. What could it be? What could be my number one favorite zombie? I've probably said it a million times, I think. It's, you guys should, you might know this. What could it be? Could It, it could be any of these guys. Any of them, any of them, any of them. It is the Infector. The Infector is my absolute favorite zombie troop by far because I like building the most massive horde I can possibly build. I find so much joy and I have so much fun doing that. You guys don't even understand. It's like the best. So I'm just going to throw down a delivery man just because I need an extra troop. I'm going on expert with this one just because I feel that my favorite troop can take it out. I actually have no idea if this is possible, but this is my number one favorite zombie troop by far like the infector is my th my favorite so the main thing that the infector does is oops running low on storage so it's gonna be have to quick it creates more and more drones so as you can see i'm gonna make a giant horde on here they're going to work their way to take out these snipers so i mean of course once you take them out they're dead but the infectors are going to bring them back to life and give me more drones so i can build a larger horde so as you can see snipers they're down i have more zombies more drones are being built. So let's look at that. I have 48 more drones. Let's drop those. So they're working their way, trying to beat up on these firefighters. We're slowly getting past them. We get past them. So let's drop some more infectors. Look at that. We're at 16, 32, 40, 48, 48 drones, 56, 64. So that's 64 more drones to add to the horde. So let's say 96. Look at that. They keep coming. 112, 128. It's just um, 144. Okay, you see that, right? So I'm just going to add 144 drones right over here. That is another ginormous horde. You see, just the fact that I can make some giant horde like this, I find so much joy in that. I just have so much fun doing that. That's, I mean, I can't say enough. That's just one of my favorite things to do. Just beat up on people and like make a giant horde like that. That's just so much fun to me. I love that. So that's why the Infector is my favorite troop on the infected side so guys that's three stars on expert with only infectors so much fun i love them to death but guys i hope you enjoyed my top three zombie countdown thanks so much for watching guys now i hope you enjoy these rest of these pre-made videos i might throw a few more up while i'm on vacation it might be tough because there's not a lot of wi-fi i'm just lucky i had wi-fi here but thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed my top three zombies comment what your favorite zombies are in the below i mean if you got a favorite three comment let me know what they are but guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.